this lighting in the freaking upside down. I don't know how I have this many books, but I have some books, so gonna haul them. I got some for Christmas and I also had some vouchers for Christmas which I bought books with, but like there are some there is like a significant pile and I don't really know where they came from. So book number one, this was a Christmas present from my cousin and it is the illustrated edition of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by JK the books by JK Rowling is illustrated by Olivia Lomench Jill. So sorry for butchered your name. I didn't actually know this was illustrated by someone different until I got it. I thought that they were all illustrated by Jim Kay. But obviously it makes perfect sense because Jim Kay is working on the main books. So he probably doesn't have time to do the rest of them. And I'm really excited because they're doing um, Beedle the Bard as well. Chris Riddell is doing that one. So that's, I'm so excited. But this is gorgeous. The illustrations in this are amazing. <sighs> I have mixed views on the film franchise now and my opinions of that have changed. Won't go into that in this video, but the actual textbook, Fantastic Reason Why to Find Them, and the audiobook, which Eddie Redmayne reads, and the new and updated version, I think are amazing. I love them. I love bonus content. So this is amazing. The illustrations in this are incredible. It really goes into the detail and really shows you and gives a really good guide. I am the augury. If you know, you know. If you don't, you probably were like, what are you on about? I love this book so much. Thank you so like so much to my cousin for getting it for me. I wasn't expecting it at all. And when I opened it on Christmas Day, I was like, it's so pretty. I was just sat at the like table, just like stroking it. So yeah. Just before Christmas, I actually got some vouchers as well. So with, with one of those vouchers, I bought Welcome to Night Vale by Jeremy. Nope. Uh, I'm so tired. I Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. And this book is based on the really successful podcast, Welcome to Night Vale, and it's set in a town called Night Vale where things like aliens and ghosts and conspiracies and all that kind of weird stuff is just normal. That's just a thing that happens in that town. But it focuses on the, the lives of two women who have never really met before, but their lives are going to intertwine and things get a little bit weirder than normal. I've actually read this one. I really liked it. I said it was one of my favourite books I read in 2017, so I did really enjoy it. And then after Christmas, again, with more vouchers that I got for Christmas, I actually picked up the sequel. This was the hardback one, but as you can see with the sticker on it, it was half price. So the sequel is called It Devours, and this is a half price hardback. Waterstones never have sales. Do you understand how rare this was? I'm really looking forward to starting the sequel. I haven't gone into it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it because I enjoyed this one so much. And then again, with more uh, Waterstones matches that I got for Christmas, I got The Fandom by Anna Day, which is about a girl called Violet and all of her friends, and they are obsessed with this book turned movie called The Girl Is Dance. And who are you? I have Lynn Manuel Miranda on tweet notification. I'm going to put my phone on silent because he tweets a lot, but like only when he tweets. If that makes sense. So like once he starts tweeting things he suddenly then tweets like loads of things. This is irrelevant to the video, what am I talking about? Anyway, whatever. So they're obsessed with this book turned movie called The Gallows Dance and they go to Comic Con dressed up as people and things from that world and they go to meet the actor of their favourite character. So while they're meeting him the ceiling collapses and when they wake up and kind of climb out of the rubble they're in the gallows dance universe. I finished this book, I gave it three stars. It was it was good, like I really liked the concept of it. It's actually inspired a video uh, which I will be hopefully making soon. I felt like there was a little bit in it that was kind of a bit weak, like the explanation of how they actually got there was a bit weird and there were bits in it which I didn't enjoy. I'll do a full review of it on my website at some point. But yeah, it was, it was okay. It was, it was like enjoyable but there were just things I had problems with but I wouldn't not recommend it. Make of that review what you will. <laughs> and then, and this is gorgeous, I cannot believe I haven't spoken about this book on this channel yet but oh my god. I did actually think it was the whole first book and it's not the whole first book so I was definitely misinformed there but the graphic novel version of the Mortal Instruments City of Bones. So yes, this is actually not the whole of City of Bones, which is what I thought it was when I ordered it. But it's not, it's fine, but I don't, I'm not complaining about additional Shadowhunters books, so it's all good. Illustrated by Cassandra Jean, who is the queen of Shadowhunters illustrations, and it has these like full colour ones at the start, which are gorgeous, and then it's illustrated all the way through, and it's gorgeous, and amazing, and I love Shadowhunters, and I love the Mortal Instruments, and I love them. Then I got some Stephen King books because I'm like obsessed with Stephen King at the moment and I don't know why. Like, well, I do. I've been reading his books and I'm liking them. That's why I'm obsessed with them. But yeah. So the first one that I got was Firestarter, which is like very, 
like dropped it in the bath. Uh, uh, I am currently halfway through this. I'm really liking it. It's really good. It's about a guy called Andy and he is on the run with his daughter Charlie because Andy and his wife when they were younger needed some money so they took part in a study which caused them to develop sort of mental powers. Andy can kind of force people to see what he wants them to see. They have had this, they have had their daughter and she is pyrokinetic. So she can do stuff, she, she, she has powers as well. But a side effect of those powers that she can do, like she can hurt people, she can do lots of things. But she, when she does them, she gets so worked up that a side effect is that she can set things nearby on fire, but she can't control it. So she could set people on fire and houses on fire and all that jazz. So her using her powers is not necessarily a good thing. I'm like halfway through this one. I'm really liking it. It's really good. And I, I find myself, I, I just don't know what's going to happen, which is good. Like it's not predictable and stuff. And I find myself kind of thinking like, what is genuinely going to happen? And where I am at the moment, so much has happened, but there's still so much of the book where more things can happen. And yeah, it's really good. And then, I have it. This is the movie cover. I don't know why I'm looking on the back like I don't know what this is about. This is about a town called Derry in Maine in America. In this town there's a bunch of kids and they realise that there's something not quite right about the town and in the sewers of the town it lives. It mostly takes the form of Pennywise the clown but it's not actually a clown. It's weird mutant thingy like spider looking weird thing that's like as close as people can understand what it actually looks like it basically turns into the thing that scares you the most so when they're kids it's like the late 50s when they first kind of experience it for the first time down and then when they grow up they like move away they forget but then they get called back into the town 27 years later in the 80s i watched saw the film first before i read it and it is very different i had never seen any of the original stuff to do with it the first experience of this whole story was the 2017 version. I like both of them for completely different reasons. There are things in this I do not like but I do really enjoy this book. Then again with Christmas voucher money I got Paper Girls by Brian K Vaughan and illustrated by Cliff Chiang. So this is set in 1988 and it is about a bunch of 12 year old girls who are on their paper round and while they are on their paper round they witness something a bit weird. They uncover something very important and lots of stuff goes down and this is volume one of that story and it's really 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 good. I read loads of graphic novels in 2016, I said this in another video, but I barely read any in 2017 so that's something I want to rectify this year. So I started it with Paper Girls, definitely a series I want to continue because I really 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 like this. I think the illustrations are amazing. Look, look at this, it's incredible. It's just good and enjoyable and I didn't really know where it was going again. I didn't find this one predictable so I want to read more. This video is kind of, th this video, I'm so I'm so tired. This next book is kind of like a joke but it's a book that I got recently that I hauled so. Change of Fillings by the Muffin Brothers. This is a book that I'd seen around but it was like expensive and for what it was I was like I'm not buying it. It was like £10 and I was like no. And then I went into the works which you know is like blessing. It was £1.50 or like £2 or something like that. It was like ridiculously cheap and not gonna see it that cheap again and it looked like they were selling them as part of their getting rid of old Christmas stock sales so it was like mine. And this is literally a cookbook for things from the Stranger Things universe and I quite like Stranger Things. <laughs> should I stay or should I ego? This, this, this is what I want to make. Cake buyers! So I think I'm gonna make that at some point I think that looks really cool and there's loads of like other things to be made as well. I felt like some people may appreciate it. And then for Christmas my mum and dad got me the entire Poison Study series by, Mar Mar by Maria V. Schneider. This is a series I wanted to read for a really long time um, and I've heard loads of good things about it, and people have told me it was really good and it's something that I should read and that I will enjoy. There's Poison Study. This is set in a world called Ixia and I don't know if I've said that right. Ixia? It's Ixia? That sounds raw right in my head. In this territory they have this code of behaviour where performing magic and that kind of thing is very much kind of prohibited like it's very well monitored and watched and you don't break the rules essentially. And this focuses on a girl called Yelena who is um, imprisoned for murder and her punishment for that is death essentially but she gets offered like that to be revoked if she becomes the food tester for the leader of this place. So she basically has to like test 
their food and eat it before they eat it to ensure there's no poison in it. She could still die because it could be poison. I've heard loads of good things about this and loads of people have said that it's really good and something I will enjoy and I haven't read a really big series in a long time and I've kind of like want to because I spent last year reading a lot of standalones and I haven't read series in a long time unless it's been rereading Harry Potter so I obviously will have my yearly Harry Potter reread I want to reread The Mortal Instruments and this is also a series that I want to get into and read this year because I think it's going to be something I really enjoy I was also really lucky and was sent some books this month the first one was Feast of Fates by Christian A. Brown the book is about a girl called Morrigan who lives a life a very quiet life as a handmaiden to a old sorcerer named Thackeray crosses paths with Caneth, I think I've said that right, and he is not completely mortal, there's something a little bit more about him, and uh, meeting him actually sparks powers in Morrigan, and she has to then, she kind of explores them within herself and learns a lot about herself. Her powers just get stronger and stronger, and she's kind of exploring them and dealing with them, and she realises she has a lot of power, and everyone around realises she has a lot of power as well. And so when I was contested and asked about this book, it was definitely one that I was intrigued by, it definitely one I wanted to check out. So I'm really, really, really excited to crack into it very soon and see what I think, and let you guys know my thoughts. And then an author called Sam Payne contacted me. It's like, I have seen your videos and I've seen that you've made videos where you talk about LGBTQ plus books and you've made whole videos talking about them. We need that because we need to have that accurate, accurate representation of what sexuality actually is because newsflash, straight's not the only one. Who'd have thought? I, so he contacted me and he said that his debut poetry collection, This Boy is a Rainbow, released and he would love to send me a copy, send me an ebook copy, that's why I'm looking on my phone. So when I read about it and I looked into this book, it just sounded so good and I was like, yes, please, I would love to read it. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. So I'm excited to delve into it. I've read a couple bits of it so far and I think it's really good. So I'm really looking forward to reading more of it and then I will share my thoughts with you guys. I, like, I read a lot of LGBTQ plus fiction books and non-fiction books, but I don't, I haven't actually found a lot of poetry, so I'm excited to delve into a poetry one because I haven't read a lot of it. Also, I'd love to know recommendations for those that do read a lot of it. But yeah, so that's my book haul. I don't understand why I have so many books. I don't know really where they came from. What, what books have you guys got recently? Did you get any for Christmas? Like, have you got any in the sales and all that kind of stuff? I'd love to know. Any recommendations? always helpful. Have you got any of these? Have you read any of these? Which ones do you think I should read soon? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all doing really good and I will see what I, I literally just could go to sleep right now. Okay, I will see you now. Uh, see, see, see you soon. Goodbye! <laughs>